Happy day, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Snap Political. So glad you're with me. Before we dive into this heat, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and turn on the notification bell, guys. Your girl is bringing these videos. Yes, 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 yes. Let's tap in. So what am I talking about today? Okay, so we know that Ramaswamy is really, really getting some highlights in the media based off his vision, his views, his willingness to, to tackle and handle tough conversations, get in debates, and pretty much share what he wants to do if elected president. He did a rap to an Eminem track, but he got some kickback. Why? So how do y'all feel about that? Should, they, should he have gotten some kickback or what? Okay, let's tap in. Okay, so here it says the Grammy winning rapper sent a cease and desist letter to the Republican candidate. Wow. So what is his political party? He responded on social media posting, Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I feel you. I appreciate it. Could you actually hear me? It was very windy. What's that? Oh, this is from the fair. Okay. He was like, Can you hear me? Yeah, he is coming with it. He really is. Eminem previously attacked the Republican Party in 2016 with his song Campaign Speech. Okay, so that truly makes sense. That truly makes sense sense that truly makes sense mm. I wonder if his views are gonna shift as he pays attention to see what's really going on okay so what y'all think about that is it that deep but if you don't support the GOP then it makes sense for you to send a cease and desist letter I mean Ramaswamy is really setting some waves and and he's really winning some people over but not even if you support him as a as a presidential candidate you truly can see what he wants to fight for and what he's standing for yes there's been some you know some other things that's out there you know and there's pros and cons to every person let's just be right real every party every person all of us we have things that we could do better there is no perfect person there is no perfect person only one and that was Christ so we can't expect and assume that there's going to be one person that's going to do everything that you agree with because there's some things in the GOP party that I may not necessarily agree with but wholeheartedly overall it's way way what I do agree with exceeds over and abundantly than the things that I don't really prefer let me say that so let's just be real and know that there's not going to be a person that's going to be absolutely perfect there may be some things that they say put in place or try to get put in place you mean we may not have all the pieces you know you may not completely stand for but overall let's look at the big picture people not a little small dot on the map let's not come from a small focal point of view like so many of us do let's look at the picture as a whole what is going to be in best benefit of us all in this country? All of us, all of the citizens in this country, what is gonna benefit us as a whole from every area, financially, emotionally, health-wise? These are all the areas, law, I mean, all the areas, you know, laws, your families, beliefs, all of these things, employment. So come on, we have to look at this from a holistic standpoint. And he has a very strong, he has a very strong, he has some very strong views and he's not willing to uh, attack. He's willing to attack this in a different way versus the same old way that hasn't been working. And that was one thing I liked about Trump. He was willing to get in there and dive in and tap in for the people, not just have his own agenda. Okay, I digressed. But I, I think that, you know, I, I feel like it's kind of over, but I feel like it's a little bit too much. I feel like it's overboard. I really do. You know, I really do. But if you don't support something, then just like Eminem did, he's going to say, hey, now nah, let's cut this. So I don't think it was worth it. I think based off the rap, it, you know, let it be. Let it be. But once again, I'm in support of Ramaswamy for VP. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know how you feel about this. Was it overboard? Was it too much? 
Could he have let it slide? You know, join in. You know, what is he thinking on his political views? You know, what does he stand for based off 2016? It's obviously not the GOP. However, so much has changed since then. You know, I wonder if he's going to take a different perspective. But right now, as of today, he doesn't because he sent this deceased and this letter. So tell me your views, guys. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. And keep thinking for yourself. Do the homework. Research. Learn. Love you guys.